Tranco Truck Driving Schools was established in 1996 and we've been doing it for nearly 20 years and we provide truck driver training education for individuals that want to learn how to drive a commercial motor vehicle. An average day is kind of a long day for a truck driver. I mean, by law, a truck driver can work a 14-hour day, and of those 14, he's allowed to drive 11 of them. So that's, that's longer than your typical eight-hour day at a factory or at an office. But at the same time, you're out and about. You're, you're seeing the country, so it's kind of relaxing. You get to mingle with people. If you're an independent person that doesn't like to have somebody looking over your shoulder, and you can, you can, you can kind of manage yourself and manage your time, you're not going to like this. You're going to love this. What an individual needs to do is get some book knowledge, and that's where they learn their, um, we call it the book skills, and they earn a CDL learner's permit. And with that permit, then, they're able to drive with a licensed CDL driver, and that's what we use in school to take them out on the road so that we can teach them how to drive a truck. So they come to school and they earn their certificate to finish the program, and that's the certificate from Train Code Truck Driving Schools. But when they still finish the schooling or the training part, they have to go take the actual CDL driving exam with the state of Ohio to earn their actual driver's license. There's various segments of trucking. There's what we call over the road, and those are kind of the dying breed of truck drivers as we call them now today. The big category still is regional. A regional driver is going to be gone maybe four, five, six days at a time. There's a great deal of jobs in that sector of the industry. And then the third category is the local jobs. Those are the people that are home every day and then they drive every night or home every night and drive every day. Um, there's becoming more and more local jobs because our industry is needing drivers so desperately. And it pays so well. I mean, our starting drivers are leaving here out of truck driving school going into between forty and fifty thousand a year to start and then on up from there. I feel just having that high school diploma should be very sufficient for what you want to do. Um, when it comes to trucking, I mean, being able to read and understand the language is important. Doing some basic math is important and some basic science. Get your driver's license and then drive as safe as you possibly can. Try and keep your record accident free, violation free, so drive safe. The other thing is stay out of trouble just within the law. And also um, get a job. Any job is important. I mean, what we look for in, this, we're in the trucking industry, just like any other industry, is a work history. If you can find it in the transportation sector, that's awesome. If schooling or college is not your game, this should be your game. Not everybody's college material, or you get people that come in here that attended a four-year college, they can't find a job in their field, and then they say, guess what, Ken, I'm making more money than I did in my chosen field. Truck driving is not, you know, it's just, it's a much better, we're a licensed profession, let me say it like that, just like nursing and all the rest is of April of 92. The pay has gone up considerably, and I really think that they need to consider this. The benefits for truck drivers are wonderful, and I just hope that there's a whole lot more, you know, graduates from high school that are going to watch this and think, wow, you know what, I never thought about truck driving, but geez, I could be graduating from high school, and two months later I could be making $50,000 a year.